and the lace that is melting and giving scalp. Welcome back to Simply Crystal. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Hey girl, hey. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today as we talk about and install Solana. I'm so excited to show you guys this unit. She's absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to go ahead and see how I install her, keep on watching I, if you have not already subscribed before we get started hit that subscribe button because i don't want you to miss a thing okay you guys so we have solana from the what lace collection and i'm so excited to show you guys we have her in the color burgundy wine you're going to get that standard cap construction two combs in the front one comb in the back with those adjustable straps you have some really really bomb lace this lace is top to ear and it is going to lay seamlessly now what i'm doing here is i'm going in and i'm giving her some extra love with some additional plugcation y'all it does come pre-plugged but i just wanted to take it up a notch because it is a maroon unit and it's colored this is not my uh, standard hair color i just wanted to give it's some extra love so it can look like it is coming directly out of my scalp. I know with the colored unit, for me, that leaves me no room for air. So I am going in section by section and plucking the hairline, okay? This is not something that is required. This is something that I decided to do. So if you do decide to give your unit some additional plucking, be careful. This is some very fragile lace, top tier lace. So take your time. What I'm doing here is going in section by section. I am pulling out about four to five strands of hair, taking my time little by little. I know it looks like I am moving fast because I have added fast forward to this video and speeded up the process. So you guys are not stuck here watching the plucking portion of the video for most of the video. So uh, yes, take your time while you are plucking, you guys. All right, so after I pluck her, I am gonna grab my Andis hot comb and just distinguish the baby hairs that I want to use from the hair that is going to be laying back on that hairline, okay? I'm gonna go in and use my little cute eyebrow scissors and cut those baby hairs because the, you know that's too long. I wanna remove any hair that is not going to serve me well, okay? So that's what I am doing here. I'm going in and I'm cutting those baby hairs to my liking. Later on in the video, I may cut the baby hairs a little bit more shorter. Um, but yes, you guys, Solana is looking great. We have her done and ready to go. Use those double prong clips to hold that hair back and keep it neat and sleek. Okay, so you guys have seen me just prep Solana for this sleigh. We got some plucking done. I cut some little baby hairs off because I thought they were too long. And I just wanted to kind of step it up a notch with Solana because of the color that I chose to get. And I just wanted to lay seamlessly. I don't usually like to go in and pluck and do all of that, but I just wanted to step it up a notch this time. If you are wanting to know what I am wearing, this is the Butter Lace 8. I did a review on it and y'all, this is one of my favorite go-to wigs. I will stick the link to my video when I installed and reviewed this. Y'all, I have had this on since yesterday afternoon. I actually slept in this unit. 
Shout out to Wheezy Hair Reviews, I believe is her YouTube name. I saw her do a bomb video talking about uh, this Wonder Lace in the black bottle. I had picked it up at the beauty supply store because I was curious as to how it worked compared to the red bottle. And I also have the yellow bottle. So um, I tried this yesterday and y'all, I slept in this. <laughs> this is bomb. I think I definitely like the black bottle more than the red bottle. So today we're going to use this to install Solana, okay? Before I start installing her, I got my handy dandy um, spray bottle that I picked up off of Amazon. I love it because it has the continuous spray. And all I do is I spray the hairline This is all I do. Spray the hairline, rub it in a little bit. Dang, this Wonder Lace is, oh! Uh, I usually don't need this much water, but that black bottle adhesive, y'all, that, oh my gosh. I'm so excited to use it for Solana. Y'all see this? And then you just gently, the water will break down that product. Don't just rip y'all's wigs off your head. You wanna protect the hairline. Boom. Just spray in a little bit more water. And then I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go in with some alcohol to clean this up. I mean, the water took it off pretty good. Wow! But because I want a clear canvas, I am going to just get a little bit of alcohol and wipe up the hairline a little bit more. Got my alcohol. Just need a little bit. Okay, so now that we have a clear canvas and everything's cleaned up, I'm gonna go in and cut the ear tabs off of the lace. That way it's not hard to cut the lace when I'm cutting it all together. Then I'm going in with my foundation on a foundation brush and I am tinting that lace. I highly recommend that if you are of a more melanated complexion and you want that lace to match your skin tone as best as possible. Keep those double prong clips in when you install the wig because it's gonna hold that hair back and just make it easier for you to deal with those baby hairs and with adhering the lace down onto your hairline. So what we're doing here is I'm just trying it on. I'm making sure that I understand the assignment <laughs> and understand what we're gonna be doing here, which is melting the lace, okay, you guys? So um, what I realized while I put this wig on is that it is coming up pretty short, but we gonna finesse our way and we gonna make it work. I mean, it's, it's not bad. I'm really gonna have to finesse this. Okay, you guys, so what I'm doing here is I'm going in with my double prong clips and what I want to do is pull that hair back and use those clips very close to the hairline so it is holding back the hair. This is a tip that I picked up from Taste Pink. If you're not already subscribed to her channel, run over there and subscribe. She does an amazing job with putting together bomb content um, with showcasing how to install wigs and I just love her vibe. So I picked up this tip from her which is using these double prong clips to just be neater while installing my units and I love the tip 
Um, as you can see here, I'm just showing you how it's coming up short as I talked about earlier. But those clips, y'all, it really helps you move those little pieces of hair back. I feel like it helps me more than using just the big clips to hold majority of the hair back. It also helps while you cut the lace and that is what I'm doing here. I'm using my little eyebrow scissors and I'm just cutting it in a jagged motion. You don't want to cut it straight across because um, you want to give it a hairline that is similar to your natural hairline. So I'm using that Black Wonder Lace and I'm gonna use my cute little blow dryer. I'm going in with that lace, applying a little bit of heat, drying it down a little bit so that it can get sticky. And then we're gonna go and adhere that lace to the adhesive. Y'all, that Wonder Lace Black Bottle, I love it. In comparison to the Red Bottle and the Yellow Bottle, I the black bottle takes the takes the win definitely so if you're needing a really good spray adhesive pick you up that even wonder lace in the black bottle it says like supreme hold or firm hold you'll love it and you don't need a lot of the product that's what I like like less is more with that black bottle so that's what I'm doing here. I'm using that spray adhesive, working in sections, y'all. As you can see, I start in the middle, move and work my way to the sides, taking my time. You really need to take your time when you are working with the 13 by sixes, y'all, because it leaves you no room for error when you are adhering that lace. When you work by sections, you're able to take your time and really see what you're working with. So don't rush this. All right, so we have the lace adhered to the hairline. When you're working with these synthetic wigs, don't start combing from the top. I know it's very, it's habit to do that, but start combing from the bottom and work your way up and get those tangles out. Be mindful, this is a synthetic unit, okay? So you're gonna be running into those tangles, you're gonna run into some shedding. So be mindful of that. So what I'm doing here is showing you guys the versatility. You can do a right side part, left side part. I have decided to do a left side part on this unit. Once I parted and clipped the hair back, I wanna show you guys this hairline. It is laying seamlessly. I am gonna go in with those double prong clips. Like I said, I wanna keep it as neat as possible. I'm gonna use my foundation brush and just tint the remaining parts of the lace that I missed. I want this to lay as seamless as possible, okay? And then I did trim those baby hairs down a little bit more. I just felt they were a little bit too long and I'm basically fixing everything that I missed at the beginning. Okay, she is looking good, y'all. So I'm just going in with my edge scarf and laying it down. Like I said, the goal is for Solana to melt, and she is looking good. I'm going in with my Got To Be Black Bottle Gel, and that's what I'm going to use to slick down my baby hairs. Slickity, slickity, slick, okay? I want these baby hairs looking good. Yeah. 
yes she is looking good already once again if you are not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me hit that notification bell right next to it as well that way you don't miss a thing when I upload to YouTube I would love to have you a part of my crew also let me know what you guys are thinking about Solana down in the comments so far is maroon or burgundy wine a color that you're going to be picking up let me know if solana is worthy to be a part of your collection so what i did here is i did go in with my bedhead hardhead and i just sprayed um, that hairline i just wanted to lay back as much as possible and just look neat and beautiful Y'all, this hairline is definitely coming together. What I'm doing here is I'm adding some of my pressed powder to the part. I want to highlight that part and just allow it to stand out. That pressed powder definitely adds the finishing touches to your parting space. I never wear a wig without highlighting my part. All right, we can remove those double prong clips. I'm going in with my wax stick and then I'm going to use my Andes hot comb. Even though Solana is already laying flat, like I said, I want this to be in its perfection. So I am gonna use my Andes hot comb in the setting, between the settings of 10 and 15, not too hot. This is a synthetic unit. Although she can take up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, I just needed a little bit of heat to lay down that parting space and make it as flat as possible. So what we have here is the finishing results of Solana, y'all. She is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going in removing the tangles, um, any of that additional hair that I plucked. And my goodness, Solana did not come to play with y'all. She's gorgeous. Okay, you guys, so I have styled Solana. She turned out so pretty. Oh my goodness, this color. The color is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but y'all, it turned out beautiful. And shout out to Icon Beauty Supply for sponsoring this video today. Thank you guys so much for sending out this unit to me. And another thing that I love about this beauty supply is whenever they sent this to me they sent me a cute little comb and some edge control by kiss i'm excited to try those products i did use the edge brush whenever i was styling it so you guys thank you so much once again shout out and thank you to icon beauty supply guys, let's go ahead and get started chatting and reviewing discussing what we love about Solana and just some things that they can improve on. So let's go ahead and get into the cons first. Okay, so in regards to the cons, the stock card does promise, just like the previous unit I reviewed, Zelina. Uh, and I'll insert the link somewhere here in the video so that you guys can go and check out my last review of Zelina. Uh, both of these units are from Sensationals what lace collection you're looking at a 13 by 6 um 13 across is supposed to be ear to ear and then six inch parting space right here in the in the middle area which i love because you have the versatility the flexibility to do whichever part you would like without having to actually shift the wig uh so in regards to the cons it says that it was ear to ear, but it did come up short, maybe a half an inch on both sides. However, I was still able to finesse my way and make it cute. So it is a smaller cap size than what I experienced with Zelina. I had a lot of extra room with Zelina. However, with this one, I did not have as much room. Uh, another thing that I noticed is some of the parts of the hair, I, and I know this is probably from the coloring. Let's see if you can see it on camera. They look kind of frailed a little bit. This may be from the coloring. See how it looks? 
the frilled ends to go not as smooth as the rest of the texture of the wig so i did notice that however outside of those two things i did not experience any other cons now this is a synthetic unit and although look we are running our fingers through it this is the first day that i've worn this unit it is synthetic and it is long so this is like almost waste on me um and I'm 5'6", so be mindful when you're picking up Solana. She is synthetic, okay? And I noticed with colored units, you may have a discrepancy with the texture and stuff like that. This is cute, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna wear Solana for the rest of the day, but be mindful because this is a synthetic unit. You're going to experience tangling and shedding um, as you wear her. You know, um, this is not something that I would um try to sleep in if i did you know sleep in this i would make sure to clip it all up put it in a bonnet and make sure that the hair is secure and safe while you are getting your z's um, okay. with the pros i love the lace the sensational what lace um the lace is different it's a thinner higher quality lace that is going to get you to your destination of pure meltation, okay? <laughs> I don't even know if that's worse, but y'all, this is so, this is beautiful. Like the lace, lace, I love that it's so flat. I did go in with my Andes hot comb to apply some heat. I did that mainly because I decided to do a left side part and I just wanted it as seamless as possible over here. So I did go in with my Andis hot comb to give it some heat. But if I was just doing a flip over, I don't think I would have needed the heat. The, the cap up here with the 13 by six lays so flat, so, so flat. And the lace that is melting and giving scalp okay i love the curl pattern um when you take it right out of the cap the curls are very um singular i did have to go through and use my comb and you guys saw it while i was styling the unit um and doing some plucking the hairline it does say that it's pre-plugged however but i thought that it could have been a little bit better since this unit is colored i really just wanted to put in that extra work to make sure it lays and looks really good i felt that since it was colored there was no room for error for me so i just wanted to really take it up a notch and give it some extra plucking put it on my mannequin head really see how it's gonna be looking before I install it on myself. This is about how much hair I plucked out. Overall, you guys, I would rate this unit a nine. Um, just because, you know, I'm, I'm not giving it a full 10 because the ear, it didn't go all the way. It was a little bit short on the hairline and that's cool. I just had to go in and finesse my way uh, it still turned out beautiful if the wind blows. Uh, ain't nobody gonna be talking about me. At least I don't think. <laughs> so that's why I'm gonna give it a nine. It, it came up a little bit short on me, y'all. However, it's a beautiful unit. I think this is perfect for winter and fall. This may even be something that can go all seasons because it's a natural density. It's not like this is all the hair to the front, you guys all the hair to the front all the hair to the front so i feel like i could rock this in the summertime if i wanted to because it's it although it's long it's not a 180 or 200 percent density it's a natural density it's y'all so this is solana this is it
I hope you guys love what you saw today. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. And if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification, right, notification bell right next to it so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. And for those that have been rocking with me, I love you. Thank you so much for always supporting my channel, shopping through my links. Leave me some love down in the comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking. If this burgundy is something that you like on me, is this something that you want to pick up for the upcoming holidays? Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments, okay? And y'all know, if you post... If you pick her up and you post a picture, tag me because I want to see you slay, okay? So until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.